Oh, thank you, Ryan. First time? Uh, first time, Perfect. yeah. It's beautiful. Bohiki is going to be straight ahead. All right. This is a beautiful windy day in Honolulu. Hey everyone, this is Tim and I hope you're doing well. Uh, I took a drive from Waikiki all the way here and uh, this is a gorgeous place and I must say uh, the places in Honolulu gets better and better. We actually found quite a few buffets, even one in a supermarket in Foodland and also Dukes on the beach. We were just about to have our first Mai Tai and lo and behold, we discover there was a buffet as well. So we had to partake. And today I'm kind of on my own. Rishad is exploring the island and Christine is doing some hikes. So it's just you and me. And uh, I'm pretty excited because I think we have found one of the best buffets, if not the best buffets in Honolulu. This is the Four Seasons and uh, I'm just about to head in and look at this. I think they're getting hungry and so am I and hopefully there's no fish on the buffet uh, for their sake. So uh, can't wait to get inside. Let me show you. Beautiful entrance here. And the buffet is just right down there. And again, I can't wait to try because I heard this is the best buffet and uh, it certainly isn't cheap. Uh, I think uh, it is 115, 120 for uh, brunch, but they have lobster and roasted pork and a suckling pig and all that good stuff. <laughs> Watch the stairs, gotta pay attention. And oh, beautiful gardens over there on the right. And to the left, that is the pool and the beach is further out. And I believe rounding the corner, the buffet is right in front. And I'm still a little bit early for my reservation, but hopefully they'll have a table ready. Hey, Wendy, Joanna, Summer, Serena. Oh, well, this looks so good. Uh, and I know I'm a little bit early. Um, is there a table available? Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much. Enjoy. All right. Thanks, Joanna. Thank you, guys. Oh, more steps. Oh. All right. So very kind of Joanna and Wendy and Summer and Serena, the uh, fabulous four for a wonderful table. And we have a little friend there or a bit of a competition for the food. But let's take a look at what they have. Ah, so this is right. This is 115 and uh, lots of selections here. Seafood on ice, steamed lobster tails. That looks really good. And I got a chance to peruse the buffet and do some reconnaissance. And Augusta there with the porchetta all that crispy goodness. So I gotta give this and the prime rib a try and some seasonal catch. And let's see what's on the other side. Mm. All right, some cocktails. And although it might not look like it because of all the wind, it is a warm day. So I think I'm gonna go for a bit of a drink. And before ordering, let me show you the view here. As I said, really grateful for this table overlooking the ocean and a bit of the pool. Hi, Sheena. Hi, this uh, looks amazing. Um, can I order a cocktail? Absolutely, what can I get for you? Well, maybe, how's the uh, lychee martini? Personally, my favorite. Oh, okay. It's absolutely. Thank you, Shana. All right, thank you. So Shana explained things wonderfully, and I don't think I'm gonna wait for the lychee martini. Uh, I think we're gonna check, check out the uh, cold seafood bar. Can't even speak, but let's go. Okay, and I can already see the cold seafood. More stairs. All right, and this is looking very good. All right, so I have the plate. And while this plate is empty, it's gonna be full pretty soon with all the poke and the seafood. And let's see what we have. Some sashimi and poke. Let's go for some salmon. Beautiful. Double it up if we can. A Little bit of poke. and some more poke, making this a trifecta because this is number three. There we go. And some ahi tuna. I think we'll just go for one with a double cucumber. And there is more. And the crab might be too much work, but I think we'll start off with a lemon and as much work as it is, I think these might be worth it. 
Let's go for a little one. Wow. And this is a field of oysters. And I think we'll just go for one here. The crabs are massive. And oyster number two. A bit of cocktail sauce. And we should go for a couple of shrimp, a single and a double. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna go light on the sushi, uh, mainly because there's not enough room on the plate, but let's see what they have. Everything looking gorgeous. And I think this is what I'm after. And I think we'll just go for one and maybe the one next to it and some mignonette for the oysters and the cocktail sauce, I guess. And I don't think I've ever seen so many soy sauce before. We'll go for the soy sesame. Okay, and if you come a little further in, we have another section here. Okay, I think these are the mains, so we'll definitely come back, but I think we'll start off with a little bit of appetizers. So looking absolutely gorgeous here, and I think we'll start right here because this is the salad station and the salads in Hawaii are actually amazing. There's not a lot of greens, but there are a lot of potato. Right over there. And a little bit of salmon. Next to the potato, I guess this is salmon tomato salsa. Oh, and beautiful, colorful smoothies, Jamaican style, and uh, some yogurt. And because this is brunch, these are breakfast items. Oh, thank you, sir. Let's go for a Portuguese sausage or two next to the potato. And then the bacon and the French toast. And in front of me here, you'll see little bowls of golden goodness. And these are filled with butter. And where you find butter, you'll find the lobster tails hidden behind right over there. Okay, and let's see, moving on. We've got a bit of fruit on the other end and more fruit and some veggies and hummus. I think I'll go for a little bit of that. Right on the flatbread. And on the other end, oh, salmon. So let's make a schmear. But why would you go for cream cheese when there is herbed cream cheese? Let's go for a little bit of that. Okay. Right here. And thank you to the viewer who recommended how to put a schmear together. Put the salmon on last, and before then, put the capers inside so they don't go running all over the place. A little bit of onions. A blanket of salmon to keep everything safe and secure. Warm and comforting, even though it's a bit chill. There we go. Great tip. And now this is the dim sum station. Cloches back there and more cloches up here. And I think I'm gonna save these for later, but I will go for a couple of dumplings. Let's see, so we've got the steam buns and something in the dim sum basket. Let's take a look here. Ah, as it says, steam buns, and we will skip that. And let's see. Oh my goodness, these are shrimp, or shrimp, these are soup dumpling. And you gotta be very gentle. Oh, that is number one. And being extra gentle again, this, oops. Come on. This is number two, right over here. And I have never been so stressed before, but with the soup dumplings, we can't let this wait. We need to go back and enjoy. Very nice to come back to the table and find something new. Sheena has brought over the lychee martini. Oh, looking really good, cheers. <laughs> Oh, that is so smooth. Almost like there's no alcohol in there and it's very dangerously, but dangerously good. Very nice. 
first round is going strong and uh, maybe I overdid it a little bit. With the seafood and Sheena knows I'm messy so I got a nice towel. And before we go further, I think we need to start with the soup dumplings. And I made sure to get a bowl here just in case of spillage. Okay, gentle. All right, let's give this a try. Mm. It's dripping. Lots of soup in there. And I'd, normally I would use a spoon and two hands, but with the camera, a little bit difficult. Cheers. Mm. This is the first time I've seen a soup dumpling at a buffet. Very nice indeed. Just like the great Shanghainese places, wrapper is nice and thin, full of juice, and it just bursts. Thank goodness for the cup. Mm. And I think now that the stressful item is over, Let's go for some potato salad. Oh, nice and colorful. Mm. And you know what makes a great, a good potato, I can't even speak. You know what makes a good potato salad great? Bacon. And this left me absolutely speechless. Bacon and chives and sour cream and mayo, like a baked potato, potato style format. Oh, very good. I think I need a little bit more of the lychee. Oh, that is so addictive. And I think we'll definitely go for the schmear on crisp bread and salmon. And again, thank you for that wonderful tip with the onions and capers inside. Mm. Very nice. Capers and onions are nicely embraced by the blanket of salmon, not too salty, well balanced. Mm. I think as full as this may get me, I think we gotta try the sushi, mainly because it is blocking access to the oyster. Let's grab that. A little bit of soy and wasabi. Mm. Very good, very fresh. This is a tempura roll, crunchy on the inside, and again, a blanket of coating, wonderful mayo on the outside. Mm. Very nice. Oyster snacks, let's give this a try. Looking really good. Okay. Gotta use the chopsticks here. Oh. The oyster is nice and plump with the mignonette sweetness and the cocktail sauce gives it an extra kick. Mm. Number two, just as good as the first. And finally, the trifecta of pokes. And I remember it was a surprise to find one of the best pokes in food land. Let's give this a try. This is ahi. Oh. So three things about poke. The freshness of the protein and it's checked. The texture, a little bit of seaweed, a little bit of crunch and the softness of the tuna. And then the flavors, wonderful dressing. Let's try the mayonnaise type poke. Oh, nice and creamy and a bit of a kick. I think this is a wasabi mayo and the scallions add a nice fresh brightness. Very good. So I think before I leave you, I'm gonna try the Portuguese sausage because that is nice and fatty and to cut the fatness and to cut the richness, a little bit of the tomato salmon salsa, surf and turf. Very nice. So I think 
I'm just gonna finish this off with the sashimi and the crab and all the great stuff here. And we'll take it back for the lobster and the porchetta and the prime rib. This is gonna be a long and wonderful buffet. Mm. Round one was massive, all the amount of food. And uh, the crab, I knew was a little bit of work, but I'm glad I got some butter and dunk it in, all that buttery goodness. And normally I don't want to spend time on the crab, but because these are so large, the work to reward ratio has been skewed. Almost came out perfect. A little bit of butter, very delicious. And since the hands are already dirty, a gigantic chilled shrimp in the butter, plump and tender. And of course, the sashimi, nice and fresh, fatty salmon. Thought I'd try it with some butter and then some soy and wasabi. Tastes okay but skipping the butter makes it taste better. And with that, I think we are going for some hot food. This is round two. And uh, oh, if it's anything like round one, uh, it'll be a challenge, but a good one. Let's go. All right, so round two, and as we were enjoying our food, we have wonderful entertainment from the performers right over there. Really talented. And I think uh, we'll go up more stairs and uh, Hi, Gusto. Hi. All right. Oh, I'm definitely coming back for that massive prime rib, but we'll need to eat that while it's hot. So we'll grab a plate. Okay. And then we will continue on along these cloches. All right. So I'm going to be pretty strategic here. I'm not going to get a lot of food here because right over there is a lobster station. But let's see what they have. Ooh. A little bit of chicken, barbecue chicken. Oh, and next to it looks quite interesting. This is Beautiful Cultures, carne asada hash. Hi there. Oh, looking lovely. And I think these are purple potatoes. Trying to get... Okay, that's escaped. A little bit here. And some meats. And gotta go for some salmon. Okay. And as good as a salmon is, it is a sauce that makes it special. Doused in this wonderful buttery creamy sauce. Okay, and coming up next, I think this is a sign for us to eat our veggies. I think that just might be a bit too heavy. And let's see. Oh, a little bit of quiche and okay, so I will have veggie in the form of chow mein with shrimp, a little bit here and some shrimp and over there were the dim sum and the rice. I think we're going to see a gusto for that wonderful lechon or the porchetta. <laughs> gusto. Oh, very good. This little friend looks uh, very tasty. Yes. Can I have a small piece? Yeah. And maybe a little bit of skin as well? Yes. Oh, and you got the filling too. Wow, look at that. Slow roasted for five hours. Oh, just looks so tender and tasty. You Thank you. Can I get the ear? Yeah, you sure can. Oh. So someone got the first ear? Yeah, it's right over here. And I got the second. I can't wait to try the roast pork, but I feel I'm missing something. Lobster, be right back. All right, how can I forget such an important thing? And I can see the fresh lobsters being prepared. Perfect timing. Can I get a lobster, please? Or or maybe two? Do you want the pork in? Oh. Wow, thank you so much. I knew that feeling that I've forgotten something and uh, really nice that these are fresh lobster and I got four. I asked for uh, two, but I think she gave me four, two whole tails. And this is a crispy porchetta with the crispy ear. And first up, the crispy porchetta skin. Mm -hmm. 
shatteringly crisp, crispy, crunchy skin, shatteringly crisp, and a nice layer of fat to add more flavor. I think we gotta try the porchetta itself, and we'll need to shift the skin oh, and go for that luscious meat. Oh. That just melts in your mouth. And the pork is succulent and tender, a little bit citrusy, and that stuffing is so aromatic. Oh. So good. And I think we'll dig into the salmon next. And one thing with the salmon is there is fear at a buffet that it becomes a bit dry. And this is nothing of the sort. This is flaky and fork or chopstick tender. And I think a little bit of the sauce. There we go. Moist, flaky, buttery. And speaking of buttery, we have some butter left. And I think we need to go for the lobster here with our chopsticks. Okay. Oh, and I can tell this is perfectly cooked, soft, oh. and a little bit of butter. That lobster is so succulent. This is perfectly cooked, nice and succulent, sweet and briny like the ocean. Mm. I'm so glad you gave me four. Oh, nice to see you coming again. Thank you, Shane. Oh, on a surfboard. So really kind of her, she saw the empty lychee cocktail glass. And this is the lychee sunburn coming on the surfboard. Cheers. Oh. Shayna, thank that good recommendation. This is oh, this is so refreshing. The sunburn, the sun is from the watermelon and the gin, and the burn is from the chili. Oh, this is very nice, and it's got a bit of a kick, so you can't drink too much, which is a good thing. All right, so I think I'm gonna try the noodles next. And as good as it can be, I think I'm gonna smother it in the sauce from the salmon with the veggies. Very good. So round two, a little bit of porchetta, a lot of lobster, and I still need to finish the pig ear, and I'll take it back for the prime rib and more lobster and maybe a ramen or two. Oh, maybe just another sip. Some more food. <laughs> Round two was another substantial one. And that pig ear, I thought that would have been tasty, but because the ear is so thin, it gets charred and burned. Not very tasty. But I'm a little bit embarrassed here because a server noticed my table was filling up and she gave me a whole new table. So I kind of feel like I'm eating for four, but uh, let's go for round three prime rib. All right, so I think this round will be a surf and turf round. And uh, all the hardworking folks, beautiful lobsters. Thank you. So definitely need to go for a lobster or two. Hi there, can I get two? Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. I keep forgetting two means two whole lobster tails. They are so generous. Thank you so much. So these are the problems we have to deal with and not a bad problem at all. Sure does, my friend. And every time I see a gusto, the uh, prime rib gets bigger and bigger. Can I get a, a, a medium one with a bit of fat? Thank you again. You're welcome. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's see some jus. Just a little bit. A little bit of horseradish. And I think I need to go back, but oh, look at this. Under the bright lights, this is the catch of the day. 
And I believe this is the fish, and I hate to say it, because remember the fish that greeted us uh, outside when we first came in? I hope it's not the same ones. And I think we really need to go back. So I do want to get back quickly. Nothing wrong with uh, lobster and prime rib. Gotta make sure that's nice and hot. Really grateful for a nice rib cap here. And uh, grateful that uh, Augusto got me medium rare with the rib cap. It tastes as good as it looks, just melts in your mouth. This is a butter knife, and that's all you need. Because it cuts just like butter. Too big of a bite. But the only thing missing is the mashed potatoes. But that's okay. They've got their bacon chive potato salad. Let's give that a try. Just as good as the first time. And I think to make the bacon chive potato salad even better, we make it a bacon chive fish seafood potato salad. Oh, that is a big bite. Mm. Much better, and we'll do little bites next time. And speaking of little bites, maybe, maybe not with the lobsters. All right, so let's give it a try. I'll use a fork. Okay, and it just comes off. Give it a twist so easily. And a little bit of butter. And I think I should have got some warm butter. That's okay, we'll go back. Mm. So good. Lobster number five. And I think the folks at the table next to me are kind of laughing. Hey, Sharika. Hey, Ronnie. How many pieces of lobster have you had? I have four. So. <laughs> four and two. I think this is a competition. Shall we? <laughs> Thank you so much. So really great folks here. And I'll finish this up. And uh, finally, I think it's time for dessert. Very good. So many steps, and I'm not sure if it's me or the cocktails, but uh, I think it's time for dessert. And I think this plate is way too big. So that looks like a wonderful array of desserts on both sides. The cream puff is looking delicious. There we go. And that is a good start. And over there is a ramen station where I was intending to go, but just too full. But I think we'll go for a coffee caramel cake. Ooh. Oh, a little dangerous there. There we go. Next to the cream puff. Oh, and it gets better. These are cupcakes, but not just any cupcakes. These are ube cupcakes with a lot of cream. And this will hide the blemish right there. So these are a cookie and a cake together. An Oreo cheesecake cookie. Let's give this a try. So a cookie in a cookie. These are the financiers. And okay, now normally I don't go for Rice Krispie treats because they're mainly for kitties, but this is not. This is a black sesame crispy Rice Krispie. And sorry for the redundancy, but it does look crispy. And let's see, moving on, we have on the other side, and these mandolin looking things are called butter mochi. And I wonder if it's just mislabeled, but let's give that a try and we'll find out for ourselves. And then these muffin looking things are hazelnut mandolins. And here we have the mango cheesecake. And I've never seen a more sparkly mango cheesecake before. Let's go for one. 
and I hope I don't drop it, otherwise the sparkles will never come out. And to cap it off, a healthy dessert. This is a fruit tart. Do you know if Matt's in this? And very carefully, and that is the last one because the plate is getting full and so am I. So that was a lot of food for the buffet and I think I might have overdid it so I'm glad to say I kind of lightened up on the dessert and some of the favorites here is the ube cupcake and the mango sparkly mango cheesecake but first I have to find out what this butter mochi tastes like. Let's cut into it. You know, I was going to make a joke thinking that they mislabeled this as a hazelnut mandolin, but this actually is a butter mochi. Nice and chewy and buttery, a little bit sweet, not too much. The sign of a great dessert. Mm. I was a bit surprised, but a nice chew. And to contrast the chew, I think we need to go for the ube cupcake. And I think this is a two-handed operation because it might get messy and I don't want to touch the sparkles. Okay, this is already so light and I can already tell this is barely holding. Let's give this a try. You don't really have to chew. Once it's in your mouth, the cake and ube and frosting just dissolves. Again, not too sweet, very luscious and buttery and crumbly and moist. Very nice. We're gonna try the sparkly mango mousse cake. Same texture as the ube cake, soft and luscious, creamy and light. So good. And while I was talking away, Shayna was kind enough to drop off a nice warm cup of coffee and some cream or a lot of cream. Oh, much needed. Oh, and this is good coffee, good Hawaiian coffee. Okay. And all refreshed, let's try the strawberry cream puff. Pastry is thin and crisp with a nice crackle on top and cream and the filling of strawberry cream, rich and light at the same time. Mm. Very good. So I'm going to finish this up. But this is Lahiki Kitchen at the Four Seasons. And it's all the way on the other side of the island uh, from uh, Waikiki Beach. So it's a bit of a distance, but well worth the travel. And um, great people here like Shana and Augusto and uh, all the rest of the folks here. and. Uh, the kind uh, people next to me. So thank you so much for joining. And uh, again, lots of work to do. So until we see each other again, uh, I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're traveling well, and I hope you're eating well. All the best to you and yours, and God bless. And I'm gonna say goodbye, but when I finish this up, we might see each other again because on the way in, I saw an ice cream cart. And if they're open, Let's take you back there. But if I don't see you, bye-bye and God bless. So unfortunately, the ice cream sundae station has closed. Guess we'll just have to come back again. <laughs>